Hi there, my name is April Sawtell and welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to show you how to make outside pillow covers. I'm going to be doing it um, envelope style. A couple of weeks ago I had showed you how to make cushion covers for all of your cushions that are outside. This is going to be the same sort of thing, this is just going to be for the pillows. So I'm going to show you how to make envelope style so it's really quick and easy. For this project, what we're going to be needing is I've got a big ruler, scissors, rotary cutter, I've got a measuring tape, and I've got pens. You're also going to need a marking tool. I'm going to be working on my serger as well as my um, Juki sewing machine for a straight stitch. But I want to get the edges serged so they don't fray. The video I made a couple of weeks ago, I had showed you how to make the outside cushion covers. I said I would come back and show you the rest of them. I only wanted to show just those first six that I had made. So I knew that I wanted red fabric because I wanted the cushion covers that I made. The next batch that I'm going to show you, I wanted those to have a pop. They were really pale compared to what I had had there. So by adding this red, it was just going to make it, you know, have the look I was looking for. So I'm going to show you how it all came out at the end of this video. So I went to the store and I was able to find this red fabric. It's an outside fabric and it was on sale. I was so happy because I knew that I wanted red. So what I did was I bought what was on the bolt. They only had two and three quarter yards left, but that was okay. And that should be enough for the project that I'm going to do. So this is going to give it the look that I've been looking for. This red will just tie everything right together. All right, so let's get started. So I took my pillow. I had reupholstered these a few years back, same time I did my cushions, and what I did was I just made a cover to go over the pillow. Same thing. So this is this is now going to be the third layer on top of this. I'm leaving it. These are old. There's no need for me to take all of this uh, cushion off. I might as well leave more cushion. You know, it's just more padding inside of it, especially where they're old. So to get my measurements, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my pillow and I'm going to come all the way around it. Okay, so that is 20 inches. It's 20 inches around. It's going to be laying like this on my fabric. So I know I need 20 inches down. Plus I need to add 5 inches for an overhang. 25 plus I need 2 inches for seam allowance. So I'm really cutting it close with this fabric. So that means I need to keep my salvage and that's okay. I'm going to count that in as part of my hem. I'll just make sure I can't see it because I'm allowing an inch on each end for the hem. So what I'm going to do, it gives me just a smidge over 27 inches. I'm going to use this whole piece that will give me just enough to make these covers. So that's 27 inches down. I need to be 23 inches over. So I'm going to add 2 inches to my 23 inches. That's going to give me seam allowance on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to make my line at 25. All I'm going to do is just measure up and make my some lines here. All right, and then I'm going to take my big ruler and I'm just going to make a straight line all the way across, connecting these lines. Then I'm going to cut this right off. I could have used a rotary cutter too. I didn't think about that until after I started cutting. All right, so that's going to give me two covers for the pillows because this is folded in half. So when I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut right on this fold and I'll cut that fold off and it'll open up and I'll have two pieces. Now I have two pieces. So I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm going to fold it over again to give me like my inch. I just want to make sure you don't see any of the salvage after I do my hem. So I'll fold it enough that I won't see the salvage, the holes in the salvage. I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'll show you what to do from there. I'm just going to fold that over and then fold it over again. It's easier if I don't use pins because I'm going to have to keep readjusting. 
I've got my pressure foot toe right on the edge, right here on the inside, right on this edge, lined up. That'll keep me good and straight. And you want to be sure not to get those little holes in your, where you're going to see them. Just keep readjusting. I'm just using my pressure foot toe as my guide. And you're going to give it a back stitch at the front and you're going to give it a back stitch at the bottom. Okay, so that hem is done. Turn this around. Make a hem right here on the other side. And put your presser foot down and that will give you the tension you need to get your first stitches in. So you can hold it and then continue uh, folding it under. Okay, doing the same thing. Give it a back stitch right here at the end. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold this about in half. I'm going to take this other side and I'm going to overhang it about five inches. So when I count my five inches, I'm counting from the start of my hem. So my hem is in that five inches. And then I'm just going to count over one, two, three, four, five. Bring this one right to here. All right. Then what I'm going to do is just lay it flat. I'm going to take some pins. I'm going to stick the pins right in between these two hems. Put two in each uh, row. When I made my outside cushions, I did the same thing. Just stick two pins in. And that will hold it good, and you're right in between the two hems at five inches. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this up. I'm just going to go over, and I'm going to serge both edges. If you don't have a serger, it's okay. If you have a zigzag stitch, that'll work, or if you have an overlock stitch on your sewing machine, that'll work. I'm just going to use my serger, do both sides, and then I'm going to give it a straight stitch on the inside of those stitches just to hold it super secure. Okay, so I'm on my serger, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to serge these two edges. I'm going to go super slow, not too slow, not too fast. I want to be sure I don't go too hard over that, um, over my hems. Because I have broke needles doing that, so I just got to keep it kind of slow, but not too slow. And I'll just go right to the other side. I'm going to take my pins out as I go. Now I'm going to go back over to my sew machine and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew and I'm just going to come on the inside of that seam I just made on my serger. That way if ever anything happens to the, if any of that pulls apart it won't let go. There's always going to be that other secure seam there. I just like to do that. I'm also going to just stitch some of this uh, extra thread down. I'm going to start with a back stitch. And I'm just going to sew all the way down. And I'm going to end with a back stitch. And I'll go a couple of times over my hems. So I'll just sew some of this uh, extra down. 
I'm going to start with a back stitch. And then I'm going to sew down, but I'm going to do doubles over here on top of my hem. And I can feel my other hem here. So I'll just go back and forth a few times just so it's, um, that's where it's going to be pulling when you are opening and closing the pillow. And give it a back stitch. Now you can take the pins all out. There's another way to do it if you want to. Instead of doing a serger, if you don't have a serger or you don't have a serge stitch, it's really okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over about five inches. I'm just going to eye it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this under my machine. I'm going to give it a good back stitch right there. I'm going to come down and I'm just going to sew on a straight line and I'm going to call that good. You're not going to see these corners up in your pillows. So if you want to serge, you can. I'm just showing you another way if you don't want to serge. And just be sure you go slow over your thick parts here, like right there. And I'm going to give that a few back stitches right there. And there's another hem right here. You want to give it a couple of back stitches over the hem because you're that's going to be the tension spot of your pillows. And I just go ahead and give it a back stitch at the bottom. So these edges will probably fray in time, but they're going to be inside of my cushion and I'm never going to notice it. So I give, I've given two options of, you know, you can use your serger or no serger. Okay, I'll just turn that around. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, turn it over and you're just going to give a back stitch at the beginning. Come down. You're going to go over your hem. I can feel one hem here. I'm going to go over it and I'm going to give it a couple of back stitches because that's where all of the tension is going to be on your pillow. Come down. So just continue to do this with all of your pillows and you like there are two ways here I've shown you. Serger or no serger. I think I've decided I don't want to do the serger. I did want to show you how, but I decided I'm not going to probably go serge all these e edges because you will not see them. So, and I've got a nice hem here that you're not going to get any edges here either. Okay, just flip it right side in now. Take your little chopstick or something to push out the corners with. And then just straighten your pillowcase out. And then just go ahead and put your pillow right inside. Now some of mine are going to be a little bit big or a little bit tight. Remember, my cushions are super old. I think I got this in 2003. It might have been 2005 when I bought my patio sets. So they're old. The cushions, this is the third time they've had cushions on them. I've sewn them twice myself, and they came with the original. So, But I'm going to make all of mine the same size. They all are going to fit in my pillows a little differently because of the size of the pillow because they have a pillowcase over them and... They've just warped. You know, they're just all stuffed, more stuffing in some areas than the other. Some are really flat. But I made them all the same size, and that will be fine. And I did the overhang, and that's what it looks like on the inside with that overhang. Here's how all my pillow covers came out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.